hey guys this is hakim welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to build this traveling app you are using react native so stay tuned so this is what we are going to build in this video let me walk you guys through the app so right here we have the first screen which is the onboard screen and inside the screen we have this background image inside the background image we have the um a test of discover world with us and below the text we have this dummy text and below the dummy text we have a button with a title of guest ahead and once i click on it it's going to take us to the home screen and inside the home screen we have the um these icons over here then we have a text below the header explore the beautiful places then below the text we have a search input and below the input we have this uh, menu with icons over here below the menus we have a title of place and below the text of place we have a card of each place the card contain the name of the place location and the um, rating of the place and also i can scroll on the card so below it we have the um a title of recommended and below it we have the recommended card with the name of the place the location the rating and uh, some description over here and once i click on this card it's going to take us to the detail screen with the name of the place the rating and we have this section over here the location of the place and over here we have this um heart icon then below the location we have a title of about the trip then below the um text we have this description below it we have this footer with the price and a test of per day and over here we have this um button with the title of book now over here we have the header and once i click on this um, icon it's going to take us back to the home screen so this is what i'm going to be doing in this video i'm making project available for you guys to download so i'll put in the link in the description down below and also if you like this kind of video please like and share and if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing turn on post notifications so you'll find time upload a new video and that's what i do let's start coding okay guys so i already created the project i know how to structure the project so let me walk you guys through the structure of the project so over here i created a folder called src so this folder holds the entire app and inside the folder i created a folder called assets so this assets folder holds all the asset of the app that is all the image of the app and i created another folder called const so this const holds some file it holds the um colors.js so this file holds the color for the app so we have a white color, dark color, primary color, secondary color, light color, gray color, red color, and an orange color. Then I created a file called place.js. So this file holds all the place of the app. So it's just an array with each object. Um, each object has an ID, name of the place, location, image, and details. And also I created a folder called views. And inside the folder, I created a folder called screens. So this holds the screen of the app. So I create a component called detail screen. So this is the details component. And in this component return the save area view. And also I've imported the icon. So making use of um vector icon for the icon. And also I've imported the colors. So over here we have another component called the home screen. So this is the home screen of the app. So inside the component return the save area view. And also we um bring in the navigation props for the navigation. So making use of um React navigation for the navigation and over here i created another component called onboard screen and also we've passed in the navigation props and in this onboard screen component we only return the view inside the app.js i added the navigation container and also i import the gray stack navigator so making use of stack navigator for the um, project then also i import the various screen so over here we added the screen the onboard screen home screen and the details screen and for the navigator we added the screen option and we set the header shown to false so this is going to get rid of all the header in the app and that's all for the structure of the project so let's start coding the app so start by working on the onboard screen that is this um, blank screen over here so let me bring up the ui for reference so inside the onboard screen we have this background image and inside the background image we have this text and this dummy text and also we have this um button over here so we'll start by styling the view and for the view we'll give it a flex of one so this is going to take the full width and the full height of the um screen so over here we are going to add an image background component for the image background and for the image background component we are going to give it a source so we we'll give it the um onboard image that is this image right here so over here we'll give it a source 
then we'll give it a style so for the style we'll give it a flex of one so this is going to take the full width and the full height also then we'll hit save so right now we have the image so um the next step we, want, we are going to add the status bar component so once the app to draw um the screen below the status bar so right here we'll add the status bar component and for the status bar we'll give it a props of translucent so this is going to make it to draw the um screen below the status bar so hit save so right now we have the screen below the status bar so actually it's not showing up because this color of the status bar is not transparent so to fix it you give the background color and i want to give it a transparent color so for the transparent color we give it an rgba um color so i'm going to give it a black color with an alpha of zero which is going to make it transparent so right now we have the image under the status bar so the next step i'm going to add a view so um this view is going to hold the this text this dummy text and this button over here so we'll add a view and for the view we'll give it a style of um details which i'm going to create right now so we'll say style not details over here we are going to create a detail style so over here we'll say details and for the detail style we we'll give it a height of um 50 percent we'll give it a bottom of zero so we want to push it zero pixels from the bottom so say bottom we'll give zero pixels then we'll give it a position of absolute so we want to be able to position it absolute to the um image background then over here we'll give it a padding horizontal of um 40 pixels so say padding horizontal we'll give 40 pixels and that's all for the detail style so right now we're going to start adding the text inside the details view so over here we are going to add a text component so add a text component and inside the text component to we'll add the text of discover so we'll add the first text and for the text we are going to give it a style so we'll give it a color of white so we'll say color and we'll say colors dot white so we'll get it from the colors object hit save so right now we have the text over here so the next step we're going to give it a font size of 35 pixels so say font size we'll give it 35 pixels and also we'll give it a font width of bold hit save so right now we have the text so um the next step we're going to add this word with us text so to do that we are going to duplicate this text component then over here we'll change it to word with us we'll say word with us hit save so right now we have the text and also we are going to add the dummy text right now so i'm going to duplicate this also and i'm going to copy the dummy text so i'll get the dummy text and i'll paste it over here so um, right now we have the text so we are going to start styling the text so for the um dummy text i want to get rid of this font size and also we are going to get rid of the font width so we'll give it a line height of 25 pixels was we'll a line height we'll give it in five pixels then we'll give it a margin top of 15 pixels so um this is the text over here so the next step i want to add this um button below the dummy text so below this text component we are going to add a view so this view we are going to give it a style of um, btn so say style btn and right now we are going to create a style but before we create a style we are going to add a text component so add a text component and inside the test component to we'll give it a test of get started and also we are going to style the test component so we'll give it a style and for the style we we'll give it a font width of bold and that's all for the test component so right now we are going to um style the btn um style for the style we we'll give the height of 50 pixels so say height we'll give 50 then we'll give it a width of 120 pixels then we are going to give it a background color of white so say background color i'll say colors dot white i'll hit save so right now this is the button 
so the next step i want to give it a margin top of 20 pixels so I want a space between the text i'll give the border radius of 7 pixels then now we are going to give it a justify content of center and align items of center so this is going to center the text component so over here we say justify content we we'll give center then align items we we'll give center hit save and that's all for the button so right now we are going to um, wrap the button with the touchable opacity component and we are going to add on press props to the button then once we click on it we are going to call the navigate function which is going to navigate us to the um, home screen so over right here we add a touchable opacity component i'm going to take the button then i'm going to um, paste it right here i'll hit save and for the touchable opacity component we are going to add the on press um, props so add the on press and for the on press we are going to make use of the um, navigation object so say navigation and we'll say navigate and we are going to pass in the home screen um component so this component over here so i'm going to copy the name and over here i'll paste it right here and also we are going to uh, modify the active opacity of the touchable opacity component so say active opacity and we are going to give 0 0.8 so i want to increase the opacity so right now hit save and if i click on the button it should navigate us to the home screen um, component so right now we are in the home screen component so we are going to start working on the home screen component for the home screen component we have this header and this text and also the status bar over here has the color of the primary color and we have this section also with the primary color so for the home screen component we'll start by styling the um, safe area view and um, for the safe area view we'll give it a flex of one then we'll give it a background color of white we'll say background color and get the colors from the colors object and we'll say dot white and that's all for the um, safe area view so the next step we're going to add the status bar component then we'll change the color to the primary color so right here we'll add the status bar component so import the status bar and for the status bar we'll give it a translucent of force so we don't want it to draw the R uh, below the status bar so we'll say false then we'll give the background color of the primary color we'll say colors dot primary i hit save so right now we have the status bar with the background color of the primary color so the next step we're going to create a view for the header so the view is going to hold this both icon the sort icon and this notification icon so over here we'll add a view and for the view we'll give it a style of header so say style and right now we are going to create a style so over here we'll add this style so say header and for the header style we we'll give it a padding vertical of 20 pixels we we'll give it a flex direction of row then we we'll give it a justify context or space between and also we we'll give it a background color of primary so we'll say background color I'll we'll say colors of primary hit save so right now we have the header so the next step i'm going to add the icons inside the header that is these icons over here so inside this view we'll add the icon component i'll make sure we import the icon correctly so we'll get rid of these curly braces and here we are going to change it to material so i'm making use of the material icon so over here the icon we are going to add is the sort icon that is the first icon so say sort hit save so we are going to give the icon a size of um 28 pixels and also we'll give it the color of white so we'll give it the color props i'll say colors dot white so um this is the icon right here but there is no padding between the icon and the screen that's because we didn't add um a padding horizontal to the um header style so say padding horizontal we'll give it 20 pixels and this should fix it so right now we have the padding so the next step i want to add the second icon and the second icon is the notification icon so i'm going to duplicate this then over here we'll change it to notification dash none so right now we have the notification icon so the next step i'm going to add this text and also this section then we'll add this search container 
So below the header, we are going to add a scroll view. So the reason we are adding the scroll view is because we want the element to be able to scroll if the element overflows. So right here, we'll add a scroll view component. And for the scroll view, we are going to give it a props of show vertical scroll indicator and we'll set it to false. So we want to get rid of the scroll indicator. So inside the scroll view, we are going to add a view. So this view is going to be this section. That is this section with the primary color, which is holding this text and this search icon. So right here, we'll add a view. We'll say view. And for the view, we are going to give it a style. So we'll give the background color of primary. Then bring up the emulator. So we'll say style. We'll give the background color of primary. Colors dot primary. Then we'll give the height of 120 pixels. So we'll say height. 120 pixels. Hit save. So right now we have the section. So inside the view, we are going to add the text. So we are going to add a text of explore the beautiful places. So this text are actually two um, text component. So the first text component is the text is the component holding the explore the text. And the second component is the one holding the beautiful places. So inside the view, we are going to add the text component. Add the component. And for the text component, we are going to add a text of explore the hit save so we have to import the test component so i'll import it i hit save so right now we have the test component so the next step i'm going to style the text but before we do that we're going to add the padding so we want the space between the text and the screen so to do that inside the view that is holding the test component we'll add the padding horizontal of 20 pixels so say padding horizontal we'll give 20 pixels so right now we have some padding. So we are going to start styling the test component. For the test component, we are going to give it a style. We we'll give it a style of um, header title. So we'll say header title. So right now I'm going to get a style and I want to start styling it. So for the header title, we we'll give it a color of white. Then we we'll give it a font width of bold. Then we we'll give it a font size of 23 pixels. So we we'll say font size in 23 pixels. So right now we have the first text. So the next step, I'm going to duplicate this um, text component and we'll change the text. So right here, I'm going to duplicate this, then I'll change it to beautiful place. So we'll get rid of this text. Then we'll change it to beautiful place. I'll hit save. So right now we have the text. So right now I'm going to add the search input. For the search input, we're going to add the view. So this view is going to hold the search input. And for this view, we are going to give it a style of um, input container. So say style. I'll say input container. And right now, I want to add a style. So for the input container style, we are going to give it a height of 60 pixels. Or we'll give it a width of 100%. So say width. Give it 100%. Then we are going to give it a background color of white. Hit save. So right now, we have the um, input container. So the next step, we are going to give it a border radius. So say border radius. And we are going to give it 10 pixels. Then we we'll give it a position of absolute. So we want to be able to position the input container absolute to the view. So right here, we'll say position. And we'll give it absolute. So right now, we have the input over here. So the next step, I'm going to give it a top of 90 pixels. So it is going to push it 90 pixels from the top. So I hit save. So we have the input down here. So actually this input is not centered. So to fix it over here, we are going to add a view. So add a view over here. Then I'm going to take this text and the input container. Then I'm going to paste it right here. So this is going to center the input container. So the next step, we'll give it the container a flex direction of row. So say flex direction. Then we are going to give it a padding horizontal of 20 pixels. So say padding horizontal, we give 20 pixels. And also we give it an align items of center. So this is going to center the item vertically. So say align items and we give it center. Hit save. So that's all for the input container. So right now I want to add the icon. That is this icon right here and also the text input. 
So inside the input container, I'll add an icon component. And for the icon component, we'll give it a name of search. Then we'll give it a size of 28 pixels. So say size. So this is the icon over here. So the main reason the icon is not showing in full is because this view that is holding everything over here has the height of 120 pixels and this search container is pushed into the view so it's overflowing so that's the reason it's not showing but once to start adding other element is going to start showing up so let's say for instance i add the test component over here and just go high and save so as you can see the view has start um showing up so i'm going to leave this test component like this then once we start adding the menu we are going to get rid of the test component so inside the view we are going to add the text input and for the text input we give it a placeholder and we give it a placeholder of search place i'll hit save so right now we have the placeholder so we are going to give it a color of gray so we'll give it a style and give it a color of gray let's so say colors dot gray i'll hit save so right now we have the search icon and the search input and that's all for the input container so the next step i want to start adding this category list and these um icons over here so to do that we are going to create a component called um list categories so over here i'll create a component and I'll call it list categories so say const we'll say list categories and inside the component we are going to return a view so return the view we'll say return view i'll hit save for the view we are going to give it a style of category container so over here we'll give it a style we'll say style dot category container so right now we are going to add the style and for the category container we'll give it a margin top of 60 pixels we we'll give it a margin horizontal of 20 pixels so it's a margin horizontal we we'll give it 20 pixels then we we'll give the flex direction of row and a justify content or space between so say flex direction we we'll give it row then a justify content or space between so that's all for the category container so right now we're going to add the um list category component over here so right here i'm going to get rid of the test component then we'll put the um list category component over here so i hit save so right now we have the list category component so actually it's not showing up because we've not um rendered any icon so for the list category we are going to uh, map through all this icon then we are going to create a view so each view is going to hold this um icon so over here i'm going to um bring in the icon so i'm going to copy the icon then i'm going to paste it right here so this is the icon you are going to loop through so this is just an array of icon components so each icon component has the name um size and color so all the icon components have the color of primary so inside the view that is the category container view we are going to um iterate through the um category icon so say category icon dot map so map through the category icon so over here we'll pass in the function which is going to return a view so add the view and over here i'm going to bring in the icon and also bring in the index then i want to hit save then inside here we'll pass in the key so that react won't yell at us and we'll give it the index as the key then also we are going to bring in the icon so we'll bring in the icon which is going to render the icon right now so right now i'm going to hit save so as you can see we have the icon so the next step i'm going to style the view that is the view holding the icon and for the view we give it a style of icon container so say style or say style dot icon container so right now i'm going to style this um, icon container so for the icon container we'll give it a height of 60 pixels so say height we we'll give 60 pixels we we'll give the width of um 60 pixels also then we we'll give the background color of secondary then we are going to give it a justify content of center and align items of center so this is going to um center the icon both vertically and horizontally in the view so say justify content say center then align items we'll give center so i'm going to hit save so right now we have the icon centered in the view 
so the next step i want to add the border radius of 10 so I want it to have some round shape so say border radius i'll give it 10 so i want to hit save so right now we have the border radius so i think that's all for this category list so actually this input has an elevation we forgot to add the elevation so i'm going to open the project and inside the input container style we are going to add an elevation so right here add an elevation i'll give it 12. hit save so right now we have the input with the elevation so let's take a look at the ui so right now we're going to add a title that is this place text then below the text we are going to add this card so below the list component we are going to add a test component so add a test component and for the test component we are going to give it a style so we'll give it a style of section title so actually we are going to make use of this style for this um recommended text also so right here we'll give it a style i'll say section title then inside the test component we are going to give it a text of place so we'll hit save so right now we have the text so i want to start styling this section title style so i want to get this style then over here we are going to add this style and I'll start styling it so for this style we'll give the margin horizontal of 20 pixels so say margin horizontal we'll give 20 pixels then we'll give the margin vertical of 20 pixels also then we'll give the font width of bold and a font size of 20 pixels so say font width we'll give it bold then we'll give the font size of um 20 pixels I hit save so that's all for this text so the next step i want to add this card um, to the screen so to add the card we are going to create a new component for the card so add a component over here and i'll call it card so below this list category component we'll add a component so say const i'll call the component card and for the card component we are going to return a image background um, component so we want to be able to add some element inside the image that's why i make use of image background instead of the image component so right here we return an image background component so say return image background and the card component is going to take in a place props so say place and right here we're going to add the flat list to list the card so over here we'll add a flat list component but before we add a flat list component we are going to add a view so this view is going to hold the um, flat list and also some other components so over right here we'll add a flat list component so say flat list and for the flat list we are going to give it a data of places so make sure we import the place file so over right here we import the place file so say import place and we import it from the const um, folder so this is the place um, file that is this file holding each places so it's just an array with an object which has the id the name location image and details of every place so i'm going to close the file then we'll go back to the flat list component and for the flat list component we are going to give it a render item and we'll pass in the card um, component we created so we'll give it a render item props and for the render item we are going to give it the card component so say card and over here we are going to bring in the um, item props so say item and for the card we are going to pass in the um, place props which is going to be this item so bring in the item so hit save then right now we are going to get rid of the scroll bar so to get rid of scroll indicator we are going to set the horizontal scroll indicator and set it to false so say show horizontal screen indicator and set it to false then also we are going to pass in the horizontal props so we want you to scroll horizontally so right now i'm going to navigate to the page so we are getting an error can't find any variable places so um let's see so this should be places not place so i'm going to add an x to it so i hit save and we should get rid of the error so we'll navigate back to the home screen so we are getting an error of style width so that's because we've not added any width to this um, image background so to fix that for the image background component we are going to give it a style and we are going to give it a style of um card image so we'll say style and we'll say card image so i want to get this style and i want to start styling it so over here i'm going to add a style 
and for the card image style we are going to give it a height of 220 pixels then we'll give it a width of width divided by 2 so we want each card to take 50 percent of the screen width so over here we'll add the width and um, props we're going to give it the um, width divide by 2 which we are going to create right now so i want to create the um, width variable so we are going to get the screen width so over here we'll get the screen width and to get the screen width we'll say const so we'll pull out the width from the dimension which is close to dimension dot get i want to get the screen so hit save actually we've not added any source to the image background that's why no image is showing up so to do that to add the source props then for the image i want to get it from the place object then we'll say dot image hit save so right now we have the image so we are going to go back to the card image style and continue styling it so over here we are going to give it a margin right of 20 pixels so say margin right give 20 pixels then we give it a padding of 10 pixels and also we give it an overflow of hidden then we give it a border radius of um, 10 pixels so say overflow hidden and a border radius of 10 pixels so hit save and i think that's all for the card image style so the next step i want to add some style to the flat list itself so for the flat list style, we give it a content container style and we are just going to add the padding left to it and we are going to give it 20 pixels. So right now I'm going to continue working on the um, card component. So inside the card component, we are going to add a place name. Then over here, we'll add this um, icon with the location and also we have this icon with the rating. So first add the place name. So to add the place name, we'll add a text component and we are going to get the place name from the place object so say place and say dot name i hit save so right now we have the name so we are going to start styling the test component so for the test component i want to give it a style we'll give it a color of white so say colors dot white then we'll give it a font size of 20 pixels we'll give it a font width of bold then we we'll give it a margin top of um, 10 pixels so say margin top 10 pixels so the next step i want to add the um location and the star and also the rating so to do that we are going to add a view so this view is going to hold this icon then the text and also this icon and the rating over here so below the text component we'll add a view component and for the view component we are going to give it a style so we'll say style we'll give it a flex of one then we'll give it a justify content or space between so say justify content space between then over here we'll give it a flex direction of row then we'll give it align item or flex end and that's all for this view so right now we're going to add the icon so to add each icon and each um text we are going to add a view so this view is going to hold this icon and this text and also the and that is going to hold this icon and this text so inside this view we'll add a view so for the view we we'll give it a flex direction of row so add a style then inside the view we are going to add an icon component for the icon component we we'll give it a name of place then we we'll give it a size of 20 pixels and a color of white so say size 20 pixels then we'll give it a color of white say colors dot white so i'm going to hit save so right now we have the place icon so over here we are going to add the location so add the test component then we are going to um render the location so for the location we'll get it from the place object then we'll say dot location i hit save so right now we have the location italy over here so right now we are going to add a style to the test component and for this style we give the margin left of five pixels so we want a space between the icon and this text so say five pixels then we give it a color of white so say color and say colors dot white so right now we have the icon and the place that is the location so the next step i'm going to duplicate this then for this icon i'll change this to star so say star then this i'm going to change it to um, 5.0 the 5.0 and i'll hit save so right now we have the star and also we have the number of rating so um i think that's all for this card component so the next step i want to add the 
this recommended text and also we are going to add the recommended um, card so below the flat list we are going to add the text component and we are going to give it a text of recommended then over here we are going to give it a style of section title we'll say style dot section title so this is the same style that is being applied to this um places text so that's all for the recommended text so the next step we are going to start working on the recommended card so for the recommended card we are going to create a component called recommended card so right here we'll say const recommended card and for the card also we are going to add an image background component so we'll return an image background component and also this is going to take a props of place so we'll say place then for the style we'll give it a style of rm card image that is recommended card image so we'll say style and we'll say rm card image then hit save so right now i want to add this style so for this style we are going to give it a width of width minus 40 pixels so we want the card to take full width of the screen but you are going to remove 40 pixels from it that is to compensate for the horizontal padding which is 20 pixels for each side so right here we'll say width i'll we'll say width minus 40 pixels then we are going to give it a height of 200 pixels so we'll say height 200 pixels and we'll give the margin right of 20 pixels then we'll give it a border radius of 10 pixels and overflow of hidden then a padding of 10 pixels so we'll say border radius 10 pixels overflow give it hidden so the main reason i give it an overflow of hidden because we want the border radius to apply to the component so without this overflow of hidden for some reason this border radius went to work so right here we are going to give it a padding of 10 pixels and that's all for the rm card image style so right now we're going to add the flat list component to list the um, recommended card so right here we'll add the flat list component and for the flat list component we we'll give the data of places then we we'll give it a render item of um, recommended card so we'll say render item then we'll bring in the item prop we say item and also we pass in the place and um, props which is going to be this item i'll hit save so let me navigate to the screen so we're having an error can't find the variable rm card image so let's see so this should be style dot rm card image so i'm going to hit save and right now it has gotten rid of the error so the next step i'm going to add the source so for the source we are going to get the image from the place object then we'll say dot image so right now we have the recommended card with the image so we are going to add the horizontal props so this is going to position the card horizontally and also we'll get rid of this scroll bar so over here we'll add the prop of horizontal then also we'll get rid of the scroll bar we'll say show horizontal indicator and we'll set it to false so this is the card the next step we're going to add some style to the flat list so we'll say content container style and for this style we we'll give it a padding left of 20 pixels so we'll say padding left we we'll give 20 pixels and also we we'll give the padding bottom of 20 pixels so i'm going to hit save so right now we have the card so the next step we want the card to act as a carousel so we want it to snap once it reach um, a specific position so once it's reached this position and if i release it it's going to snap so to do that all you have to do will say snap interval so add the prop snap interval and for the snap interval i want it to snap at the card with minus 20 um pixels so i'm going to hit save so right now as you can see it's going to snap which is going to give you this carousel um effect so the next step i want to start adding the content inside the recommended card so we're adding the name and this icon and also the location then we're adding a dummy text so actually we are not seeing it right here because of this um screenshot so inside the recommended card component we are going to first add the um name so to add the name we'll add a text component and over here i'm going to bring in the name so to get the names get it from the place object and say dot name so i'm going to hit save so right now we have the name 
so we are going to start styling this test component and for this type we we'll give it a color of white we we'll say colors dot white then we we'll give it a font size of 20 pixels we we'll say font size we we'll give 22 pixels then we are going to give the font width of both and margin top of 10 pixels so it's we'll the margin top we we'll give it 10 pixels so right now we're done with the name so the next step we are going to add a view so this view is going to hold the place icon and also the um location so over here we are going to add a view and for the view we are going to give it a style so we'll give it a style of flex one so say style and give flex one then we'll give the justify content or space between so say justify content space between then give it an align item of flex end so say align items and give flex end now hit save so that's all for this view so this view is going to hold the icon the location name and also the domain text so right here we're going to add another view so this view is for the icon and the location so we'll add a style and for this style we we'll give it a flex direction of row and that's all for the style so inside the view we are going to add the icon so add the icon component and i'm going to give it a name of place so say name we'll give it place then we'll give it a size of 22 pixels and we are going to give it a color of white so say color and we'll say colors dot white so right now we have this icon over here so the next step we're going to add the um location so add the location we'll add the test component and for the test component we'll give it a flex direction of row also then over here we're going to um render the location so add the location over here so say place dot location so i'm going to hit save so right now we have the location over here so actually this should be in a view so this view should be in a view and the view is going to hold the other view which is going to hold the star and the rating so over here i'm going to add a view and i'm going to take this view then i'm going to put it over here then for this view we are going to give it a style we give it a width of 100 percent then we give it a flex direction of row so say flex direction then we give it the margin top of 10 pixels so say margin top 10 pixels and that's all for the view so right now i'm going to style the text so for the text we're going to give it a color of white and a margin left of 5 pixels so we're going to get rid of this flex direction we'll give it a color of white then we're going to give it a margin left of 5 pixels so say margin left we we'll give it 5 pixels so i'm going to hit save so right now we have the location so right now i'm going to get this then i'm going to duplicate this then for this you are going to um change this icon to star so over here we change this icon to star then over here also we are going to change this to 5.0 say 5.0 and that's all for this um view so the next step we are going to add the dummy text so over here we are going to add the text component then we are going to um render the place details so say place dot details so right now we have the text so we are going to style the text right now so for this style we'll give it a style of color of white so say color i'll say colors dot white then also we are going to give it a font size of 13 um pixels so i'm going to hit save so right now we have the details so i think that's all for the home screen so the next step i want to start working on the details screen but to work on the details screen we have to wrap this card with the touchable opacity component i want to click on it we want to navigate to the details screen so right here we are going to wrap the card with the touchable opacity component so we'll add the component we'll say touchable opacity then i want to get this um, image background component and for the touchable opacity component, we we'll give it an active opacity of 0 0.8. For the active opacity, we we'll give 0 0.8. Then 
we are going to add on press props to it so say on press and for the on press we are going to navigate to the um detail screen so say navigation dot navigate i want to navigate to the detail screen so i'm going to get the name that is this detail screen then i want to paste it over here and while navigating we are going to pass the place so pass the place object also so right now if i click on this card it should take us to the detail screen so we are going to start working on the detail screen so i'm going to open the detail screen component and for the detail screen we are going to um bring in the navigation props so say navigation because we are going to make use of these props to navigate back to the previous screen and also we are going to bring in the route props so this route props holds place object we passed while navigating so to get the place object all you have to do is a const and we'll call it place then we'll say it's equals to route dot params so right now if i console log this i'll say console log so as you can see we have the details object the details the name the location the id and the image so i'm going to get rid of the console log and we're going to start working on the screen so we're going to give the safe area view a style we'll give it a flex of one then we'll give it a background color of white it's safe and that's all for the safe area view so the next step i'm going to add the status bar and give it a translucent props and also we are going to change the background color so right here we'll add the status bar component we'll give it the translucent props so with these props the app is going to draw the screen um under the status bar then also we are going to give it a background color of a transparent color so we'll give it an rgba color so say rgba and give it a black color with an opacity of zero so this is going to make it transparent so right now we have it transparent so the next step we're going to add the image background component so this is going to hold the this image so over here we'll add the image background component so say image background and for the image background we are going to give it a flex of 0 0.7 so we want it to take about um 70 percent of the screen width so we'll say flex and give it 0 0.7 and that's all for the style so right now we're going to add the source so for the source We'll give it the place image so get it from the place object and say dot image so i'm going to save so right now we have the image so the next step i want to add the header of the app so inside the image background we are going to add a view so for the view we are going to give it a style of header and for the header style we we'll give it a margin top of 60 pixels so say margin top give it 60 pixels then we are going to give it a flex direction of row and we we'll give it a justify content or space between and a padding horizontal of 20 pixels so say padding horizontal or we'll give it 20 pixels and that's all for the style so the next step i'm going to add the um, icon inside the header so inside the header we'll add an icon so we'll bring in the icon component and for the icon we give it a name of arrow dash back dash ios so say name and this is the icon over here so i'm going to give it a size of 28 pixels then we'll give it a color of white and i'm going to hit save so right now we have the icon so the next step we are going to add an on press to the icon and once we click on the icon we are going to navigate back to the home screen so to do that we'll say navigation dot go back and with this once you click on this icon it's going to take us back to the home screen so right now i'm going to duplicate this then i'm going to change this to mod dash vet and also i'm going to get rid of this on press so we don't want to navigate when we click on this mod dash vet icon so that's all for the header so right now i'm going to add the details inside the image that is the name and the star so below the header view we'll add a view and i want to give this view a style of image details so say style and say style dot image details then right now i'm going to add the style so for the image details style we'll give it a padding of 20 pixels say padding we'll give it 20 pixels we'll give it a flex direction of row then we are going to give it a justify content or space between we'll give it a width of 100 percent so i want to take the full width 
and also we are going to give it a bottom of 30 so we want to position it 30 pixels from the bottom but before we do that we give it a position of absolute so it's a position within absolute then we give it a bottom of um 30 pixels i'll hit save and that's all for this style so right now i want to start adding the name and the icon inside the image background component so inside the view we're going to add a text component then we are going to pass in the name of the place so say place dot name i'll make sure we import the test component so we are going to import the test component so right now we have the name so we are going to give this a style and for the test component style we we'll give it a width of um 70 percent so we want the text to be able to take only 70 percent of the image background width then also we give the font size of 30 pixels so say font size we give 30 pixels we give the font width of bold we give the color of um white then we give it a margin bottom of 20 pixels so say margin bottom give 20 pixels so right now we have the name so the next step we're going to add this um icon and also the rating so to do that below the text component i want to add a view so this view is going to hold the icon and also it's going to hold the rating. So for the view, we'll give it a style. We'll give the flex direction of row. Then inside the view, we are going to add the icon component. And for the icon component, we'll give it the name of star. So say name. We'll give it star. Then we'll give it a size of 30 pixels. Then we'll give it a color of orange. We'll say colors dot orange. So I want to hit save. So right now we have the icon. So the next step, I want to add the rating. So for the rating, we'll add the test component. Then we'll give it a rating of 5.0. And also I want to add a style to the test component. So we'll add a style. We'll give it a color of white. So say colors dot white. Then we'll give it a font width of bold. And also we'll give it a font size of 20 pixels. So say font size give 20 pixels so right now we have the star icon and the rating so next step i want to add this details um view so this details view is going to hold the location this about trip text then the dummy text over here and also this um icon over here so below the image background component we we'll add a view so this view is going to have a style of details container. So right now I want to add the style for the um, details container. For the details container style, we are going to give it a top of minus 30 pixels. So I want to push it 30 pixels in the top. So say top and give minus 30 pixels. Then we'll give the border top left radius of 30 pixels and the border top right radius of 30 pixels. So say border top left radius of 30 pixels. So I want to duplicate this, then I'll change this to right. So say right. I'll hit save. So right now I want to give it a padding vertical of 40 pixels and a padding horizontal of 20 pixels. So say padding vertical 40 pixels, then a padding horizontal of 20 pixels. Then over here we are going to give it a background color of white, and also we we'll give it a flex of um 0.3. So right now we have the details card. So the next step we're going to add this icon. So to add the icon inside the details container, we'll add a view. So this view is going to hold the icon. Then we'll give the style of icon container. So say style. So say icon container. So I'm going to get the icon container style. And right now I want to add this style. So for the icon container, we'll give the height of 60 pixels, a width of 60 pixels also. Then we'll give it a position of absolute, position, absolute. Then we are going to give it a top of minus 30 pixels. Let's we'll say top, give minus 30 pixels. And also we we'll give it a background color of white, Let's say colors dot white. I'm going to hit save. So right now we have the um, icon container over here. 
so the next step i want to give it a border radius of 30 pixels so this is going to give it the um, round shape so say border radius give 30 pixels so right now we have the round shape so we are going to position it to the right so say right give 20 pixels hit save so we've positioned it to the right so right now we are going to add some elevation to it so give it an elevation of 10 and we are going to um center the element inside so to do that we'll say justify content we give center and align items we give it center now hit save so i think that's all for the icon container style so right now i'm going to add the icon itself so inside the view we we'll add an icon component and for the icon component we are going to add the icon of favorite is a favor right so this is the icon over here so we are going to give the color of red so say colors dot red and also we give the size of 30 pixels so say size and give 30 pixels so i hit save so right now we have the icon so we are done with the icon so the next step i want to add this icon and the place so to do that below the icon container we are going to add a view and we are going to style the view so for the view we give the flex direction of row and we give it a margin top of 10 pixels so inside the view we are going to add the icon that is the place icon so we give the icon a name of place and we give the size of 28 pixels say 28 then over here we are going to give it a color of primary so say colors dot primary so right now we have the icon so the next step i'm going to add the test component to render the location so right here we'll add the location so we'll say place dot location so i'm going to hit save so we have the location over here so we're going to add some style to the test component so bring in the style props and for the style we give the margin left of um, five pixels then we we'll give the font size of 20 pixels. So we'll say font size 20 pixels. We we'll give the font width of bold and a color of primary. So we'll say font width bold. Then we we'll give it a color of primary. And that's all for the icon and the location. So the next step, I want to add this um text, the about trip text. Then we'll add the dummy text. So below the view, we are going to add a text component and give it a text of about trip, about the trip. And also we are going to add some style to the component. So for the style, we give the margin top of 20 pixels. We we'll give the font weight of bold and a font size of 20 pixels. So it's a font weight, bold, then we'll give the font size of 20 pixels. So it's a font size give 20 pixels so i hit save and that's all for this text so right now i'm going to add the um dummy text so to add the dummy text we'll add another text component over here and i'm going to pass in the details so get it from the place object and say dot details so i'm going to hit save so right now we have the details so now we are going to style the text component so for the text component we are going to give it imagine top of 20 pixels and the line height of 22 pixels so let's imagine top 20 pixels then we'll give the line height of um 22 pixels and that's all for the test component so right now we're going to add this footer so this footer is holding the price and this book now button so to add the footer outside the details container we're going to add a view so add a view and give it a style of footer. So say style dot footer. And right now I'm going to add the style. So for the footer style, we give the flex direction of row. So say flex direction. Give it row. Then we give the background color of primary. And also for the height, we give it 70 pixels. Then we are going to give it a justify content or space between align items of center. So say justify content space between align items center so now i'm going to give the padding horizontal of 20 pixels so padding horizontal 
20 pixels then we'll give it a border top left radius of 15 pixels and a border top right radius of 15 pixels so that's all for the footer style so right now we are going to add the price and also we are going to add this um party text so inside the footer um component we are going to add a view so this view is going to hold the two text component which is going to hold the price and also it's going to hold this um party text so for the view we'll give it a style we'll give flex of one then we are going to give it a flex direction of row so say flex direction and also give the align items of center and that's all for this style so right now i'm going to add the test component so add the test component and for the test component we give the style so for the style we give the font size of 18 pixels then we are going to give it a font width of bold and a color of white so font width bold then we'll give it a color of white so say colors dot white so right now i'm going to add the text so i'm going to add a text of 100 dollars so i'm going to hit save so right now we have the text component so i'm going to duplicate this then we are going to change the text so this there is going to be slash per day and also we are going to modify the style so we'll change this to 12 pixels we'll change this to color dot gray and also we'll give it a margin left of um two pixels and that's all for the text component so the next step i want to add this button to it so for the button outside this view we'll add a view and give it a style of book now btn and inside the view we are going to add a text component so say text and give it a text of book now i'm going to hit save so right now we have the text so we are going to style the text before we start the um, button so for the text we'll give it a color of um, primary then we'll give it a font size of 16 pixels and we are going to give it a font width of bold font width we'll give it bold so right now we have the text so actually the text is primary color that's why we are not able to see it inside the footer so right now i'm going to add this book now style and i'll start styling it for the book now btn style we give it a height of 50 pixels a width of 150 pixels then we'll give it a background color of white so say background color and say colors dot white so this is the button right here so the next step i'm going to add a border radius to it so say border radius we'll give 10 pixels then we'll give the justify content of center align items of center so this is going to center the book now test so say justify content center and give the align items of um, center and that's all for the book now btn style and i think that's all for the um detail screen so let's take a look at the ui so we have the detail screen over here with the image the icon the location the about the trip text then we have this um dummy text and also we have this footer and once i click on this icon it's going to take us back to the home screen which has this text and it has this input container and also it had this menu then we have the cards and also we have this recommended um card so if i click on this back button it's going to take us to the um first screen that is on board screen which has this background image and this text also and also it has this dummy text with this um get started button so that will be all for the video if you, know you find the video helpful please like and share and also if not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing turn on post notifications and you'll find time uploading a new video and i'll see you in the next video thank you